So I follow a Twitter account called Whores of Yore for the mere joy of watching them take fallen women of the past, courtesans, concubines, soiled doves, and place them on pedestals for the goddesses they really were. Recently, they shared an image of this painting, The Witch, 1882, by Luis Ricardo Folero, and I was smitten. First, let me just say that I've been drawn to all things witchy since I was a wee lass back in the spooky 70s. And I also have a deep love for those creatures of the night, the bat. So upon seeing this incredible painting, I just had to know more. When a painting moves me, not just viscerally by style, but also by subject, I want to dive right in and learn not only about the painter, about their life, but I want to know what and who has inspired them. Luis Ricardo Falero was born 1851 in Granada, Spain. After a brief career in the Navy, he went to Paris to study art, chemistry, and engineering. He fell in love with painting above all and studied with Gabriel Ferrer before Falero settled in England. His paintings often feature whimsical creatures like fairies and witches, and the constellations often appear in his works. After a successful career as an Orientalist painter, Falero died in London at age 45, leaving many amazing oil paintings, including the witch, for us to enjoy. You see here the relatively limited palette, the freedom from clutter that usually buries Orientalist painting in a busy sensory overload. The tile work seems cool against the warmth of the model's flesh. Her expression is engaging, alluring, even a bit dangerous. Falero had one of the most bold and distinctive signatures of any artists, but most famous among his works are the whimsical dark night fairy studies. Night studies are a tall order, and Falero does them like no other. His interest in astronomy sets up a celestial backdrop that allows his fairies to leap airy and balletic right into our dreams. So as my Halloween treat for you, here is a montage of some of Falero's most beautiful witchy and dreamy works of art. These paintings make me wonder if Falero had his own magical muse. Perhaps a bat girl that inspired him toward greatness. I hope you'll continue following this new channel where I will be exploring the muse, those powerful and complex relationships between artist and subject that border on transference, provide endless inspiration, and make love eternal in the most haunting ways. Some of the upcoming subjects will include For now, have a very magical Halloween.